Rated T for Teen. Can you feel the essence on our side? Then let us stand tall together so that even the gods cower in our shadow. than live in fear, wouldn't you? Hello, hello everyone. Hope all is well. My name is Miles Dyer and welcome to another Let's Play. We are looking at Zenith. Zenith, what do you call it? Let me know in the comments below, although no matter how you type it, I'm going to read it either way. So let me know what the pronunciation is for you. Um, but yeah, this was a game that came out on PSVR. And when it first came out, I was in love. It was actually during a period where I was quite unwell. I was stuck in. Uh, I was incredibly frustrated uh, with not having much energy. And I was staying at my parents for a while while that was happening. And when I um, was playing this, I ended up racking up about 50 hours. And... Um, I platinum the game, got to the end boss at the time, and this was without any of the extra like post-launch content, and I had a blast. So it's on PSVR 2, it's been out on PSVR 2 for many, many months, but I thought I'd give it a go. And so what we're going to do is actually dive in with a brand new game. So what we've got here, we've got select a Shardin character or continue, right, we're going to select. And by the way, can I just say the music? on the menu has always made me so happy. I absolutely, absolutely love this. Um, so shards are basically servers. Um, and I'm going to go into, well, dragon fruit is there. Um, flat screen menus. And here we go. So I've got my character there. Um, but we're going to create new. And here we go. Okay, here we go. So we got... Here we go. We got all the different faces. I'll go with this. I'm not going to spend too much time on this. Right, here we go. And then hair. Love it, love all the, the choices. Some darker hair, there we go. And then here we go, class. Now they've added a new class. Um, so we've got what? We've got the Blade Master, which is what I play on my main account. You have the Essence Mage, which I never played. And they've also got the Cyber Ninja, which is new. So I think we should do that. So there's a DPS role. The others, they do actually have like support, tank, DPS. And I played as DPS, as a, a Blade Master. Um, but we're just going to do DPS. Wields a bow and dual karma weapons, blending traditional ninja techniques with cutting edge technology. There we go. The character name, going to call them. Uh, my character's going to be called. Miss, Mr. Jeff. Mr. Jeff. This is Mr. Jeff. We'll check in to make sure Mr. Jeff isn't already taken. I think we're in. I just love the music. The music's so good. Even when if loading screens are long. Here we go. There's Mr. Jeff in Skyland Airship. Um, so I just got to check something down here. It was asking if I wanted to ban someone in the chat. I, I want to see the chat. Um, and for anyone that owns this, um, yeah, after about an hour, I'll, I'll see how I get on, but then I'll probably be up for teaming up with some people. Um, so here we go. The 
The music's great in this game. Here we are. Finally awake. Walk towards the exit. Use left joystick to walk and right joystick to rotate. I'm just turning my microphone so other people can't hear me talking to you. Hey there. I'm Unit 1.3.37, but my friends call me Drift. I received your ship's distress call, and I'm here to help you back to base camp. Climb that ladder, and let's find out what happened. It's good that it's kept the comfort settings that I've had. So you've got the map there. And actually, because it's been such a long time, it's actually nice going through all this, because there might be some things I've forgotten about. Um, but all right. Wow. I'm, do you start in a different place with this class? Is that what it is? I don't remember this. Crash Seems landings. like there was an ambush. You'll need to glide down to escape. Be careful. There might still be enemies nearby. Now, flying in this game is amazing, and there are different sorts of flying modes. If this is the same as my regular... Yeah. So, basically, you can have a fly mode where you just put your arms out, and you go across the air flat, and then you fall down. But if you use the advanced one, which is what I use, um, and also you can climb up almost everything, is you keep your arms out, and when you lean them forward like that, you swoop down, and then you can swoop up, and it's really, really cool. So, we're going to do that. Someone's lying on the floor there. Here we go. See, look, speed and up. There we go, look at this. And you can use it to, like, land. But you have this stamina bar Strange. of how much you can glide I don't ball. see any survivors. Let's see if we can find more clues on the next island. But this is a cool tutorial. This is definitely new. My first thought straight away, though, the picture quality isn't great. Like, for PSVR 2, I hope that it was going to look better. But, um, you know, let's keep going. The art style's amazing in this. And you get these jets that boost you into the sky, which are really cool. Okay. Oh, there's a chest over here. Nothing here either. I think I'm picking up a signal on the next island. Hurry, we might be able to save them. Really cool. How's it looking on the social screen? It probably looks quite nice. But I love just being able to like hover just before you hit the ground. Looks like we're too late. But look, I found you a grapple hook. Use it on those sky anchors to get to the next islands. You remember how to use it, right? Nope. Oh, this is my... This is awesome. Nice. And my grapple hook. Grab the hook shock from over your shoulder. Oh, there you go. And then... This is cool. That's awesome. So I've not played as this class, so I've never used these items. I'll keep... Headset rumble's kind of cool as you're flying. Head through the cave while defending yourself. Grab your Watch bow. Watch out! I'm sensing enemies ahead, so get your weapons ready. All right. You'll need to glide down and defeat them to clear a path through that cave. Here we go. <laughs> Aiming doesn't feel particularly great. Yeah, really. There's a lot of alias in. It's very shaky. But Leave as I them. said, there's too many. Climb up the vines and escape through that cave. And what's great in this game is literally you can climb on any, pretty much any surface. I say that, and then it wasn't let me. <laughs> oh. Does this mean I choose what I want, or do I get all of it? I 
don't know. That, because that, there's a lot of like really subtle new things. I thought it meant you got all. Looks like you choose potentially. Oh, this is great. It's probably quite dark for you. <laughs> Run! Ah, there's a preset. Okay, so here's all my stuff. Look at all these graphics. Here we go. Dense. Okay, we can make it dense. Destroy grass, saves memory, but you need to restart. Post processing, bloom. Intensity, quality levels high, profiles. Okay, cinematic. Uh, well, I might need to turn the um, exposure up. Let's try that. How does that look? Gives it a bit more contrast. It's good. safe. Base camp is way down ahead. Glide down through those rings to join the rest of the survivors. Look at this. This place. Here we go. See, you see my stamina going down and when I go through the rings it gives me more. It is amazing just having this massive world. There's a player down there. Okay, hey, Mika. Ready to work? Okay. Got a quest. Let's get down to business. Wreckage Roger. recovery. You're the right agent for the job. Sounds Double good. Double trouble. Keep your eyes up. Yes, Mika. agent. You can change your appearance with trim. Looks like you're leveling up quick, agent. Use your ether disc to unlock powerful skills. Nice. Wow, okay, that's new. That's kind of cool. And then stacking arrows, ninja run. So this is as you go along. So you pull it. Oh, you turn it. I see. So you choose what you want. Ar arrows that reward skill accuracy with bonus ammo. They can be stacked and then detonate. Let's do that one. And then... Oh, you hold it down. Nice. Yeah, it's all a bit clunky. That's alright. Here we are. spawn there. Obviously if you haven't got your VR legs it might feel a bit ugh, but Oh. 
terrible. I love that that one landed in the back of his head. Right, um, you know, don't be off-put by this game if you're worried about comfort because there is so much. Um, and yeah, as Luke said in the chat, third person uh, when you're flying is one example. So this was actually a so this was a class that didn't exist when uh, the game first came out. So it's kind of cool trying it out. Taking it like a champ. I'm trying to go for the headshot. I remember you used to be able to climb any tree. Can you not now? I don't know. Here we go, look at this. The world is a very big place. The world is a very, very big place. Um, and it does say we can fast travel here to Skyland Airship, which is where we started, I think. Um. Oh. Need to shoot just to the left of where I think I need to. Tactics when you jump feel great as well. Inventory. Yeah. So hold the L2 or R2 button to continue. The easy inventory panel to collect or change your equipment. So as you see here, got all these items. And uh, so we've got these gloves. Level 2. Level 3. And I am, at the moment, I'm level 2, I think. Um, I'm trying to remember where everything is positioned. Oh, I can put that on. That's good. Uh, chest. Hello, Blake, bug enthusiast. You just end up accepting all the quests, and you can have them that they all appear on the left side. But we'll go back to here first. Mika! Hey, over here! Public event. Oh, it tells you where it's going to be. So yeah, this is a Ready different to beginning work? to uh, mm -hmm. when I played the game. Let's get down to business. Yeah. Right. Please use these resources to complete. Okay. Get out there, agent. Yes, Mika. Woo! 
feels so good in VR flying. Okay, build research tent. Interesting. Do I just keep putting it on there or can I do bigger amounts? that. Congratulations agents, you've learned a new set of crafting blueprints. It's amazing for a game that I've spent 50 hours on, so much of this is so new to me and I'm like, I'm not entirely sure what's going on, but we're going to keep going with it. Okay. seeing other players just running about. Is that the event? It looks it. this all in that main menu and I see that they've now joined me so I'm gonna run up here they're still following me Swiftly silent boost. Yeah, I want that. Cool. Uh, grants boost. So I think... Is it art? Hmm. Okay, I don't know. Well, I'm done with that. Okay. So, uh... I'm actually going to go on the map now. I missed the intro in the original game. You started in the city. It was pretty cool. Hope everyone's doing well. Oh, here we are. This, oh, we're back here, yeah. Yeah. See what else we got then on the world map. So that is Brim's Tavern, and then that must be. Let's have a look. If Brim's Tavern's like the social space, if I remember. 
it's like its completely own separate area. Yeah. So this was a place where you could just hang out. It's got a stage. It's a really cool place. So yeah, this is basically like a social area. A story quest available is there. Let's have a look. Fast travel, airship. And then can we... You can scroll. So story quest is available there. So we'll go back to the story and then hopefully it'll get us to the main area. So I need to kill more enemies to fill this up. That's fine. Right, let's do it. I miss having my melee weapons. Here we go. Let's see if I can hit from here. Oh! I like you getting the charge. Happy about that. There we go. Drop. No. Here we go. This is what I needed. Glinting or I remember this. Oh, getting some stutters. Yeah, the aiming on this isn't great. Like you get a red line, but it's just so shaky. Let's, oh, we've, there's only 30 seconds left, so...
Oh. No. We'll learn about that in a bit. This is what I mean, you can literally in this game you can just go everywhere. And in the main city, you can climb all the buildings and that's really awesome. Oh, that's how I do the dash. That's what I was after, that ability. That's good to know. Right, let's have a look here. So what I can do is I can go to my quest journal. Main story. Okay, I haven't got that yet. So. Let's go back to this person. Main story, here we go. Exit the camp. It's active. Great, there we go. Must have not selected it last time. Okay, harvest ore, harvest wood, and recover Esotech samples. So these are the things we were mentioning earlier. I'll go far first. Use multi tool to harvest. Yeah, the music's amazing in this. Press down thumbstick to select attachment. Oh, there you go. Look at this. That's really cool. And then you can. Okay, that is awesome. Good hit. Can I hit it with two hands, though? I can. <laughs> Oh, it's the other side now. Whoa! Okay, that's really cool. So you get your multi-tool, you press down, and then you can connect it to whatever you want. That's really, really cool. Oh, there's a chest here. Okay, right. Last bit. Oh, that, that dash ability is so good. That's great. That's awesome. That's something new that I like and appreciate. Grab items from here to use in the scanner. Nice. You got your items. Nice. Please take these resources and the repair parts and activate the easy tech interface. There we go. Over here. I think I've got to go up there, but I'm just having a look. Oh no. That 
should be it. There we go. Awesome, awesome, awesome. This, I mean, this looks amazing. Pylon's active, and then got to speak to the researcher. Cool. Uh, main story survey says. Right. Find airship exile camp. That dash is awesome. and everything. Oh, we've got a boss guy here. Oh, got some jittering. Wow, there's a lot here. Yeah, you can get other players that are much stronger to come and help. stuttering the whole time when I'm playing this on the social screen or is it is it fine because at the moment it seems all right Look at that stutter. That was unbelievable. Love it though. Our survey says. There we go, right. What I'll do is I'll go into the settings, and for this, I will take it quality levels, medium, low. What's low? Low is pretty bad. 
medium, and high. I mean, that's fine. I'll, I'll leave it on that. But... No grass, sparse, and dense. I mean, dense is amazing, but I'm going to put it to sparse and see if that stops the stutter. If not, I'll put it back on. Because I have a feeling it won't make a difference. Right. Uh, we've got to search for ore, but also investigate Lake Ruins Pylon, which is going to be down here, I'm guessing. No, this is ore, but that's fine. turn off grass completely, but the game looks terrible. Oh. I need six more. There we go. I've powered the beacon. Whatever that does. Right. Now it's flashing up there again. So we're, we're going to go over here. So I love doing that with the arms. See? Just the, it's awesome. Uh-oh, this isn't that good. This might take a while to kill. Get out of here. Okay, there's something right up over there we need to go to. And I love that you can see the beams in the sky. Oh. Now this flying, I'm just going to say, it's not me boasting or anything, because I played 50 minutes, uh, 50 hours of the, the original game. Flying like that took me, it takes a lot of practice, but it's so satisfying. As I said, the standard flying is you just put your arms out and you go in a straight line, and then you drop, but you don't go very fast and you don't have as much control of where to land. And you can create, you can collect these. Um, crystals that increase your stamina so you can fly for longer and longer which is a really nice really nice touch uh, okay where are we going now uh, over there investigate second fragment all right how it works with swimming. Do you actually have oxygen levels? I can't remember. But we're going deep. We're going deep. First one. She's over there. But when this game first came out, groups of like 20 of us were all meeting up, and it was just incredible. This game event start. No, not doing the event. Oh, I need to get up there. Climbing even takes up stamina. Oh, 
Oh. Yeah, this... I can't believe how poorly this game is running. Because this is, a, And this is a game that I could never bring myself back to on PSVR 2 because the times I did go in briefly, I was like, oh, this doesn't look great. I mean, in the headset, it looks pretty bad. Which is a shame because it's an excellent game. Oh, here we go. Over here. Yeah, that's right. If you use ladders, uh, your stamina drains a lot less than if you were to climb an actual wall. So, um... Okay. Corrupted Ancient Guardian defeated. Uh-oh. I've actually got to defeat this one. Well, while we're waiting... Oh, there it is. Let me just see, actually, if i got... What level am I? I'm level 7, so I can't... Oh, shit. I'm just going to go up here for a minute. Because it can't climb ladders. <laughs> oh, I think you don't even lose stamina on, oh, on the ladder. Yeah. Right. I'll just stay here and shoot him from up here, I think. Right. 7. What have we got? 5. Boots. So the green is it is that they're being worn. But also, people, if you've never seen this game before, there's a thing in it I love, which is cooking. In the head. This might take a while. The event ran out, so I've got to kill him again. Oh, that is annoying. Right. Ah, that was weird. Yeah. Right, let's... Mr. Jeff, Mr. Jeff. So yeah, I don't know if I can do cooking yet, but let's find out. Forgotten uh, building, isn't it? No, cosmetic. General. Oh, I've got skill points unlocked. Right, I've got four skill points here. So here we go. Increase the critical power of your ability by 10% while equipped. Increase the critical hit chance of its ability. Defense. Okay, there we go. Okay, this is making more sense now. Okay, there we go. Right, 
Right. Let's have a look here. Life skills, this is what I was looking for. Cooking. Ah. Uh. Toggle station, this is it. Is it not? It's not gonna, maybe I haven't unlocked it yet. I can't wait to show you that. Right, let's go kill this guy. How long until it starts? Here it is. me so he's like this HUD is in the way that's it come up here oh look at that staggered yeah taking lots of help now There we go. I don't want to risk it, but I do want to go down there and just... There we go. Got some good XP. And I can now go and report back to base. But before I do, I'm going to go and get that wood. And you, and you can parry. Oh, you can split it in half. That's good. That's cool. That's cool. Uh, right. I guess that's done because I've already harvested that wood. So it's now. <laughs> the route of Select it. Yeah. I've got to wait for this to disappear, I think, or it'll put it. Common gear, congratulations. You've learned a new set of crafting blueprints. Great. So, what level am I now? Level 8. So, so beautiful this game. Right, up here we go. Oh. I want to get out of here into the main city. Right, here we go. Nice, you get a hammer. Oh, the haptics on that are really good. Add. 90 times glinting or not enough ingredients cool let's 
say. Quests. Enhanced gear. Use a crafting station to create an uncommon expedition armor, please. Okay, so I do have to do that. I need to go and kill some more enemies. Although I do wonder, can I sell my gear that I don't need? Hello. Hey, over here. What up, Mika? Greetings, Agent. Okay. Get it done, Agent. Mm. You remain vigilant. Ready to work? See all this stuff you can build. I like that. You can create these areas, build a mess hall. Creatures caught. These are like different tournaments. That's cool. It's great. I just hate being stuck in this area, but it's good that they do it for you to learn the game. But I do want to go to the main area, but then I can load my main character. You know what? I think I'll do that now. How long have I been doing this for? Yeah, I've done it. I've done this for an hour. So um, what I will now do is I will say goodbye to this character, and I will uh... oh hello. So it's good showing you that from the beginning, especially because it's a beginning I've not experienced before. Um, but what happens when you're level 40 and you can fly forever? Love this music. So we'll go back into Dragon Fruit on the Europe server. Actually, learning all that flying has hopefully meant I'm going to do a better job at this. Look, that's the city you start with. That's the starting area. Now, this is always difficult, but... Oh! Here we go. And look, there's some items up there you can see. And you have all these, like... I mean, as far as you can see, all these different areas. And you've got these funnels... vents and these vents restore your stamina look at this look at this view all these places you can go to as far as the eye can see like you can see the forest over there you can go to you got the beach over there but we are gonna go to the city I love is you can literally go up to like here and climb onto buildings <laughs> in the city 
I mean, obviously, the designs, they weren't intending people to. Look at this. It is amazing. And uh, that building over there, me and my friend tried climbing, and we actually did make it. Um, let's have a look here. Let's try this. Got to get up to a bit before my stamina runs down. Can I do it? Halfway. Go on. Oh, I did it. I did it. Look how much stamina was left. Not much. Here we go. Yeah, well, you climbed up there. We'll, get, we'll try it now. We're quite high up. Um, now, if I remember, the way we got there... Actually, we'll get to that bit there. There we go. We're on here. Now, to get up there, there's a... A little okay, okay, we're on here now. Next bit. Oh wow, you can now jump up this invisible wall. That wasn't there last time. I'll keep doing it. Still got my stamina maxed out. Okay, let's do it. Oh. Okay. Is it going to let me stand on that? It will. Oh my goodness. I don't trust it though, so I am just going to keep. Okay. It's a long way down. Okay. Why is there another lip? There is. The thing is, I'm not going to be able to get to that. That's too high, I think. Let me have a look around this corner. What the hell? Oh, sh I actually came through that. Okay. Right, I've clipped out. Let's just have a look around this wall. Is it? Yeah, it's like, you're not meant to be this high. So we have, I had been up there, but I want to get on top of this building. But maybe, no, maybe this is how we do it actually. Yeah, watch. So we're on top of this building now. Stamina when it runs out, no. Okay, we've done that. And look, can you see up there in the sky? That's this new, well I say a new area, it's been out for a while. We tried climbing up there. Right. Okay, now. I think we go round that way. Let's give it a go. If I get onto it, do I slide off? No, I don't. Okay. Just let my start. I'm not looking behind me because I don't want to slip off.
by the way guys this is just an example of why I love this game because you can literally do whatever you want look that's where we were down there that little platform there so we've, we've made some good progress right I think this is the tallest bit of the city. I mean, we could get back to that building. But yeah, look up there. It's pretty epic. We will go over there next. Um, I don't know. Maybe... Maybe that bit is taller. Let's have a look. <laughs> there we go. Made it on here. Right, we're going to the city. selected there we go hey Over here agent good to see you Mika greetings agent okay Tell yeah I can show the cooking can I yeah actually right so down here is where you get the recipes and I used to spend so much time cooking in this game because we have this guy at Brim Oh, hello, Brim. I haven't seen you in like a year. Okay. And so, what you would do... I'll just do it over here, actually. Is, uh, life skills. And these are all the recipes. And as you cook more of them, you get better, so they're more effective. So, toggle station. Look at this. Here it is, look. And this I love this is one of my favorite things about the game. So the thing I've never understood is you get three types of energy and these two cost and this doesn't. So you always just use the one that doesn't cost. I assume these last longer, but it always seems and you have a knife. And uh, god, I can't even remember the recipes. So um let's let's do this. Let's make let's make some Rosemary, sour, carrot. Here we go. So this is what you need. Oh, I need some rosemary noodles first. So we'll do this. Okay. So here we go. So to make some rosemary noodles, first of all, you need some basic noodles. And you need some rosemary. So cook the basic noodles in the pot and then place them into the cauldron. That's all we do. So you put them in the pot. But first I need to put this here. And then put... Oh. Put them in the pot. There we go. And you have to basically, it's like a mini game. You have to keep this and follow it around. And then chop uh, rosemary into seven pieces, fry it in the skillet, and then place into the cauldron. Okay, so I'll leave that there. Hopefully, that'll be alright. Or do I leave it here for the moment? I don't know. I can't remember. I'll put it there for the minute. Uh, right. Chop rosemary into seven pieces. So you put this down. And look. There you go. And then fry in the skillet and then into the cauldron. Two times. I love it. And you can flip them around. <laughs> so there we go. two times and 
So you can actually do it, you know, in two pans at once, which I have done when I used to get a lot better at this because I used to cook these just everything so quickly again and again, so you got better and better. And then the cauldron is, yeah, cauldrons. Oh, here. Oh, I think that's burnt. But there you go. Opens up. And there we go. Look at that. Mm. But I've cooked that instead. So there we go. So that is basic carrot. I don't know, actually. That's meant to be rosemary noodle. But that looks like... I don't know. I know, yeah, I know, yeah, I know you could look, cook at the launch of the game. I miss doing it. That's why I've got a lot of recipes that are it's like making cookies now or making a sunset dragon. I used to do all this sort of stuff and then uh, take it into battle to give people like extra abilities. So let's do this one. We'll do one more. Cook milk in the pot. And then... This looks like salt. I always thought this looked like salt. go mm. and it's not impacted by gravity so anyway this was um, this was excellent loved it loved it loved it loved it loved it cool well listen everyone I am gonna go to the really tall place in this game so if anyone wants to meet me the server it's on Europe the servers Europe does it actually say here um, let's have a look here. I think it will be settings, maybe. Yeah, shard. It's in dragon fruit in Europe. So if you go there, and uh, we will we will climb that in the sky, which is so epic. By the way, these are my weapons. Do you actually all have... Oh, sorry. The grappling hook is just for the cyber ninja, isn't it? Get, there's all these creatures now. You can get your own pets and that, which um, I haven't fully grasped. But yeah, these these guys are. Uh... But yeah, you can go to farms. You can you can do all sorts. So um, yeah, where are we gonna meet? We are gonna meet. Where is this thing in the sky? I am facing it now. So it's... It probably is that area, isn't it? And also, Turtletop's great. 
because there's um there's like a pirate area. Do you know what? I'll quickly jump there before I go to uh, where we're going, just to show you some of the different enemies. Because these you can parry very well with their swords. You can sword fight and that, which is always really really good. Here we are. Look at this. And I remember you could climb up. Thanks, Looper. It's forward. It is. Look. Get. Oh. Need some R and R? The Radiant Coast is one of the most popular tourist attractions in the realm. I know, known I've been for its before. golden sunshine year-round, gentle breezes, and serene blue waters. Cheers. If you get a chance, kick back and relax. In this That's all right. Slice I'm just going to fight some pirates. Here we go. Okay, parrying. You used to be able to parry these, and it used to feel amazing. Nah. That's a shame. This unless I'm misremembering, you used to be able to like have proper parry fights. And there are these weird, like, big, big, big guys on here as well, I thought. Also, I had special abilities that I need to learn. Oh, I was dead. Oh, that's it. This is what I was after. What up, Shark? And I'm dead. And so when you're dead, other people nearby can revive you by going to your spirit. So actually, it wasn't the light, uh, the light brigade that first did it. Cool. So you respawn. Okay. Cool. Right. Um. World map. Sky song. Yeah, I feel very mixed about this. Like, this is not... For a game that I spent 50 hours in, every time I've sort of briefly gone into it, I've not found myself being like, oh, I need to get back to this loads. Because there's just a lot. a lot of um, sort of polish that's needed. Yeah, <laughs> thank you for that. <laughs> Just told to accept the quest in case I succeed, yeah. I'm definitely not climbing it without uh, having that be established. I wish I had the um, device. Now, is that because I need to go back to the beginning and do the mission that gives you it, or swing on things, or is it just for that opening area? I don't know. Oh, I remember all these enemies. Gargoyles, what up? Because we used to just round them up and then kill them all at the same time. But yeah, I've, I've, I've forgotten how to do all my special abilities, which is fine. I'm not expecting myself to like know everything about this. Oh man. See, I love it. Like it's where you could go up yeah, you go up here. This place is just so big. Yeah, you can build 
guilds on here so you can all join in the voice chat. Right, here we go. I remember. Right. If anyone's coming, let me know. But um, to be honest, I'm going to fall quite a bit, so... We're going all the way up there. I remember when me and Brian, Mr. Brian Paul, tried this and uh, it was proper freaky. Right, map, let's look at where the quest is. Oh, the fast travel I've got now, that's good. So where is the quest giver? Unless, hey. Hey, how's it going? Good, good. Yeah, good, man. Good. Um, chat, can you hear uh, Marcio? They can. No, they cannot. That's so annoying that so many games are like that now. On, uh... Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's because it's, it's for the social screen, uh, which is a shame. I, I don't use OBS, I use a different broadcast system, but yeah, that's a shame. Right. Okay, interesting. Yeah, and I'll definitely look into it. Uh, that's cool. Right, so. Let's go up here. Although I'm looking for where the quest giver is. And sorry if someone in the chat said it. Oh, no, here they are. This is what I thought. What up? It's already active, yeah. And then the others, main story castle in the sky. Yada, yada, yada. Right, Jelly. Um, Jelly's asking how to join us. So basically on the map, you want to fast travel to uh, Sky Song here and then you want to head south to here so if you go from if you go to Sky Song you can then travel south it's a couple of minutes walk um, and then we'll be going down it will be going up that way um, I don't think I, I did make it to the main area actually and then, and then I fell off um, yeah this is amazing this is um, Yeah. Oh, nice. Cool, cool. And this is your pet, right? No, that's also man. I spent fifty hours on this when it first came out, and then since PSVR two and all the updates, I've, I've just not been able to get involved. So I do want to get involved. Um, two thousand hours, Jesus man. But dude, it's great. There's so much to do. That's awesome. Oh, for sure, man. For sure, absolutely. Yeah, now if you're with a good community. Right. This is your comeback, so that's cool. Right. We're going to start going up. If, if Jelly turns up, uh, I will jump down and, and start again with him. I'll probably jump down anyway, so oh, I've got to remember all this. Whoop. And away we go. You can just cheat. <laughs> I wonder what ability that is. I missed the opportunity there. Have a look here. This is what makes v VR great because, like, you know, platformers, we've all done them like this before in computer games, but when you're on it and you're like, oh, I don't want to fall, you know, palms are sweaty. Oh, I remember all this.
Oh, I've, I've climbed up this. I've, I've done this. I know how, uh, how frustrating it can get. Oh, really? Oh, no. It wouldn't let me grab that for some reason. Stamina's come back. Right, let's have a look here. So, I think... Is it that you have to use the jet stream here? No, it's not that, is it? Yeah, I tried grabbing it and it kept shaking me off, which was weird. I'll try... Oh, let me... Now let me grab it, I think. Yeah. Cool, that's cool. Right. Wait for my stamina to regen. And over there, chat, that is where um, the old say the old emboss, the original where emboss used to be, and it was on a massive platform where the server used to crash because everyone was uh, like in the same place, it was amazing. bit of stamina counts. So I'll wait until it all comes back. <sighs> right. I love this. Marcia is just like gliding through this. Right, we got this here. Let's go up here. Down to that. <laughs> Fast flying, nice. That's amazing. It was like I was a maxed out character in the original game, and obviously I've not been on it for a year, and clearly what you see from all these players is um, there's just loads of abilities in there, but I mean, I'm very vanilla in my build. Just, he was just saying to me that um, they haven't changed too much, they've just consolidated a lot of the game mechanics and that now, which makes sense. Uh, right, let's have a look here. Yeah. Right, where am I going to now? Okay, we've got a platform there, I think. This is the one. Oh, that was close. And then we grab onto this. Nope. Oh, I have got it. I was like, did I get it? Did I 
get it. Whoa, I just let my character just let go of it. Uh, it's alright, I got it. Nice. Love it. Woo. Yeah, see, look, that was, we've climbed all this. It's amazing. Started right down there. Okay. Yeah, your hands sometimes go through the walls, so you've got to be careful when you try and press the grip button. Okay, I'm going to stay here for the minute. There's a zap thing there, and I'm just outside its radius. Look at that. Is it three times? Okay. I think. Oh, those fans, that was it. I remember now. I remember using the fans. And where are we going? To that. I can't hear him that well, so it's, it's quite difficult. I think it's just that my volume in game with voice chat I might have to turn you up a bit. Um, but... Gotcha, it's proximity chat. That's good to know. Right, here we go. Chat. Uh, party chat. Cool, let's do that. Right, so we're going to that. Nice. So we so that we're going towards that that is underneath you. That Yeah, I, I do remember this now. These I'm really terrible at grabbing though. Here we go. Go on. No. Ah, oh, messed it up. But I can go back again. Get my stamina back. Yeah. There we go. There we go. Right, and then we've got to get that one. One, two. so nerve-wracking. It's so good. Got it. Oh, and like, my finger is just on the edge of the grip button, so I'm like, don't let go. And I've just missed it, I think. Am I in it? No, I've missed it. Uh, the one down there, isn't it? Yeah. stamina completely. Ah! Yeah. So, there's one of these. And this. Yeah, the music's epic. Yeah, the intro screen music is just like prog rock joy for me. Sky, which is weird. 
I'm glitched. <laughs> this is so funny. <laughs> yep, nice save. Oh, <laughs> right on the bottom of that. Oh. God, palms are sweaty. Really sweaty there. That was a really good save, man. You 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 want to you want to clip that and say, look what a hero I was. <laughs> if I do fall down fully, though, I am gonna fly right over there for the end of the stream just to show you that area in the desert. Um, yeah, this is like hour six for me for Let's Plays today, and I am exhausted. Say again, I need to go where? Yeah, exactly, yeah. But there are so many biomes to chat. You got the forest, you got. Every time I grab this, I'm like, have I grabbed it? Right. Oh, yeah, we've got to do this one. And this is keeping in mind that I've got so many gems that have built my stamina up for um, climbing. I assume since the updates they've added more of them. They haven't, no. we go. This feels so glitchy though. <laughs> you never feel like you fully grabbed it. Oh, I did. Yeah, this bit's fine. But this is the bit that's going to be a little... I'm gonna be fine. Oh, I've got to go to that one down there. Okay. It's not the height that scares you people, it's the the sight of progress and the realise that one slip and it can be compl completely undone. I grabbed it. I didn't know if I'd grabbed it. Okay, oh, I remember this now. Are they not? Because, yeah, this used to really slip. <laughs> This is where me and Brian go up to. Uh, we got like right to the top rung of this bit. Um, and then. Nice. Do we actually climb just this wall bit here? Yeah. Oh, there, there is, yeah. Is this, the, is this a checkpoint? Okay. So, yeah. So maybe this, this checkpoint wasn't here when the, the, the mode was first made. Because all we walked past it. Because, um, actually, no, it was because we hadn't selected the quest at the bottom. That was why. We, we just, yeah, we just decided to climb it. Because it was like one of those last minute rushes before Games Cast Live. Of like, we've got 20 minutes, let's see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's just run, run. Yeah, I got to like all that out a bit and then that was when I fell. So, um, that's cool.
Oh yeah? Yeah. Right. I remember this now. Cool. I think it's around this one. I'm trying to remember how I did could do my dash. It's what? Sir I'll circle. where my level is. Um, well, I've got my level on the left side. Where would it be? Sorry. Oh, yeah, no title, it says. Oh, on my HUD. Um, no, I've got nothing above it. Oh, uh, yeah, that's what... So, yeah, okay. Yeah, so it's my skill tree completely empty. Right. Wow. Okay. So I want fast footwork. Um, okay, that's cool. That's good to know. And then what else we got here? Unlock. Uh, increase attack tile. No, unlock foot. Gain 30 support. Let's have a look. Quick whip. Let it increase stamina, regenerate. Uh, what's that one? Endurance. Uh, so actually, what's the other one? Uh, no. Well, I'll just, I'll just leave it up for the moment. There we go, that's the dash. Thank you. Right, we'll go over here. Yeah, I, I, I remember this. Okay, we got the vines now. No, I've messed it. Oh no! Stand here. No. Yes, you can. I'm not going to move. At all. No. Or I'm going to fall. Yep. Cut and back out. <laughs> yeah, that's it. God, this is bringing back lots of memories. Yeah, look at this. And it's when you look down, you can see your feet. Look at that picture. Uh, so good. Huh? Ooh. Whoa. I mean, I, yeah, like, honestly, palms are sweaty. Whoa. Okay, and then we, yeah, we climb up to that bit. Yeah. That's exactly it. Even if the alt style isn't realistic, you can still get that sense of height. The music's so good. Right. It's just amazing that you like you hover and you realise below you is just the void of everything you've come from. Just hope. <laughs> I 
Right. That's awesome. Wow. He was just saying about jumping at the top at the end and diving all the way down, which we definitely have. Well, I've actually never got to the very top, so I'm curious to see if we manage to. Then maybe this stream will go a bit longer than expected. But the thing is, I feel like not a lot has happened on this stream, but that's just because of the massiveness of the game. There's so much to do. Um, obviously, I was doing that intro stuff with the other character. Oh, shit. I pressed the wrong button. I'm here. <laughs> that's the jump button, not the dash. I'm sweaty. <laughs> How's everyone doing in the chat? Right. change this. Oh, I see. So how do oh, we have to just take the, uh, the platforms? Every time it gets to that certain bit. Oh, is that going to knock us off now? So we're going to this piece here. Jump onto this one, are we? Oh no! Looked like it swapped. I oh, know it, it was right. It was right. Yeah. Oh, doing good. Not to jinx it. I mean, if I fall, I fall. But. <laughs> It's just like... I love it though, it's just like, you know, you're going to make maps really long and wide. Why not add some verticality? This is how you add real verticality to a level. <laughs> okay, we've got this here. Am I on it? No, I'm not. I'm coming back, it's alright. Just got to not panic. Uh. Yeah, right, I'm going to wait for my stamina to come back a lot. I'm going to watch it this time and see what it does. Okay, it goes down a bit more than I was expecting. 
Yeah, flick through that time. Okay. I'm going to kind of jump just a bit far back. Here we go. There we go. Right, we're going onto this wall here. And then, where are we going? Around this way? Yep. Ah, oh, we got this. Yeah. Alright, let's do it. You lead the way, I'm going to do it. Oh, so that pillar. Okay. Here we go, people. That's what we're going to get to, right? This is going to explode. One, two, three. Go, 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 go. I'm going to come back a little bit first. <sighs> Look at that. It's amazing. Uh, oh, right, okay, to, to the vine, yeah. Where do we go? Sorry, it's because because uh, we're in party chat now. I can't actually tell where you are from your voice. Yeah. Oh, that's how you close the mini map. I um, yeah, I was wondering about that earlier. That's cool. Oh, we're going up this. Nice jokes. Some regen happen. Is 40 still the max level? Yeah. Then it's item levels. Okay. Oh, yeah, I remember that now. So I'm going to. Am I going for this vine? How do I get to it, though? Do I just jump up to it? There we go, I got it. Climb to that. Actually, no. Let's do this. Fair safety, sorry. Nice. Look at this. I mean, it is far up, but I'm like, it does feel nothing in the grand scheme of things. <laughs> I 
I don't actually know what's at the very top here, so I kind of like that, that that's a bit of a mystery to me. Give me a nice surprise. Right. Oh, nice. Ah, look at this. Oh, Jen, got a drop in my stomach then. Oh. Knots in the rope used to block you. I thought, oh shh, <laughs> almost fell off it. That was so scary. How are you doing? How's everyone in the chat? Everyone in the chat's really quiet. They might have got bored by now. <laughs> Just like more clock. In VR, it's not about pressing the wrong button. I mean, it can be about pressing the wrong button, but it's like it's everything. Your actions, your body, your head position. It's been quiet, so that you can provide me with all the support I need. <laughs> That's funny. Look at this, you. Oh. Okay, it's all the way down. Fast travel unlocked. Rulers retry. I'm just going to look on the map because I want to make sure that I uh, have these tagged when I do my um, timestamps for the live stream. So the one we started at, right? Where we're, so we're at? Um, we're at the celestial throne. The celestial stair was the one that was a bit lower, right? And then where did we start at? Rulers reach. I'll. Uh, yeah, sky sung, but but what was the one on the ground? Oh no, was there was there not one at the ground? The, the first the first checkpoint was the one halfway up. Yeah, gotcha, gotcha. Okay. Sorry, agent. I do not have any questions. All right. No, you don't either. Yeah. Right. So where do we go from here? Ah, okay. And is that when you're then allowed inside? Oh, you don't. 
So we... Yeah? So you don't actually climb up any higher in this? I had... Ah, I thought like this was going to be the final climb bit. Okay, that's cool. That's good. Right. Gotcha. Well, to end this live stream, I, I'm going to go towards the desert, which I think is that way. Right, I'll follow you. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, I see the... Yeah. Got to keep my arms out. That's the boss platform we can see already in, yeah? Okay, now everything's popping in now. Oh no, my stamina's run out. Oh, it was there. Yeah, I remember now. Woo. That hurt my ankles. Little is known of Ruler's Reach, even before the fracture. Only the heirs to the Desert Kingdom were allowed to cross the Emerald Gates. I remember all this. And their disappearance... Their secrets were lost to history. So yeah, up there is where the boss and that is. Right. Let's go over here. Yeah, I did. Yeah, because I'm a stamina completely died. Um, wicked. Right, thanks so much for the help, dude. I'm going to log out the party just because I'm going to wrap this live stream up. But um, really, really appreciate the help with that. Uh, it, made, it made the climb... A lot more bearable. <laughs> All right, I'll catch you later, dude. Thank you. You too. <laughs> um, let's have a look here. Interesting. All right, everybody. So this is. I mean. I don't want to show you like all the areas because I don't want to spoil it, but like the Emerald Desert was pretty awesome. Oh, and the game crashed. The game crashed. <laughs> I can't believe it. The game crashed as I did that. So uh, I'm just going to fire it up so we're on the menu with the awesome music as I do the wrap up. Fancy that, right? So, everybody. That was Zenith, the last city by uh, Raman, Raman VR. Um, I, lo I just love this opening screen, it's just amazing. Like the music is so good. Um, so, my final thoughts. Firstly, I want to say that Zenith on PSVR 2 is a game that I, I've kept putting off because every time I've dived into it a little bit, I've been really disappointed by how it looks in the headset because of how much I loved it on PSVR and I want it to have that boost that No Man's Sky did on PSVR 2 did as well but let me just summarize this graphics starting with graphics um, I love the art style of this game it's amazing being in an anime MMO RPG in VR I love the different environments, from the desert, to the forest, to the water, to the towns, to the cities, uh, to the sky bases. It's all absolutely incredible. But resolution isn't great, there's so much aliasing, there's so much stutter, there was a lot of issues you saw. Um, it doesn't feel optimised for PSVR 2, and I appreciate that it's probably a big task for a game as big as this, and I hope they crack it one day, because if it did get excellent fidelity, then my goodness, this is a game I would definitely go back into more and more. Secondly, audio. Music. Um, the music in this game I absolutely love. The audio, the enemies, um, the proximity chat, the fact that when you're in-game you can do party chat, but also you can do guild chat. So if you're in a guild with friends, it's like a radio station. You click on it and everyone in your guild 
chats wherever they are in the world and then you can use it to rendezvous and meet up. And I found it's a game that when you are out and about in the world and you bump into people, you can have great conversations. So um, yeah, the audio for this game it is great and the sound of the weapons and battles, it's all really, really good. Haptics. I love the headset rumble they've added for when you're flying. It sounds epic. Um, I do like the some haptics they've done for fighting, but I don't know if I've just got a bad memory or things have changed, but I remember being able to parry when fighting enemies with swords and that. That is something that um, I have um, not uh, been able to do uh, this time. And to be honest, there's been a lot of quality of life changes with the way the game works you saw the leveling system and my some of my abilities have gone so I definitely need to learn all that and there is a lot to learn in this game um, and that's because it's a massive MMORPG um, I've barely scratched the surface and I've been playing this for two hours um, so yeah haptics I think is just one of the many ways it could be improved um, and then finally gameplay and like the question did, did I have fun playing this today I did I mean we talk about VRAF features, the ability to fly, and like you saw the control I was able to get, and using like the, um, what was it, the grappling hook, it felt epic. It was really, really good. Um, it's so, so good being able to fly around in this game, and like in some of the forest levels where you're flying from trees, even on sky base, when you're doing it with friends, um, it's really, really good. And I think that is the most important thing I'll say about this. Um, most of this live stream I've been playing by myself just for clarity to communicate with you like how the game works and that and you saw other players about you can play this with massive groups when this game first came out me and uh, a lot of the game cats I think there were like 15 of us stood in a line like it was Avengers Endgame and this wave of enemies just came running over the hill and we were all putting our shields up and fighting um, and it was incredible and you can go on these raids and yeah, there's just a whole world to explore. Um, I put 50 hours in it um, and I just kept wanting to play it um, until there was no more content really to grind for. Um, so yeah, this game is really, really fun. So my final thoughts on Zenith is if you've never played it before and you are absolutely in love with MMORPGs and anime ones, um, I think this is definitely one worth a shout. However, if you're more on the fence about it, I would say wait until they do like version 2.0 or something. I don't know what the roadmap is for them and I've put all the description, so all the information in the description to this Let's Play, so look below. Um, but they've been incredibly ambitious. They launched such an incredible game from the get-go and they were adding content and I do hope that they're able to give this the polish that it deserves on PSVR 2 because um, it would be a game that I would probably come back to. Um, so yeah, those are my thoughts. What are your thoughts? Did you play um, Zenith, Zenith, uh, to tell me, how do you pronounce it? Um, Zenith, uh, The Last City, did you play it on PSVR? Have you checked out on PSVR 2 yet? Um, let me know your thoughts in the comments, or if you've not played it, what did you make of this Let's Play? Did it look ridiculous with all the flying? Um, there's just so much you can do from cooking, to climbing, to fighting. It's really, really good, so yeah, those are my thoughts. Look forward to hearing yours. Do hit the like button if you haven't already. Um, and thank you for sticking around with me on this Let's Play. And uh, yeah, um, do subscribe. Ring the bell to be notified of all future Let's Plays and my Wednesday talk show, Moles Die Live, where we hang out and it's always a good time and it'd be lovely to have you there. So that's all from me. I'm going to go and get some food. I want to thank you for joining me and I will catch you on the next one. Bye bye, everyone. Bye bye that music.